Hello, Battle Masters of all shapes and sizes. My name is Chance. Welcome to my spellbook, and thank you so much for taking a look at your 16th and final option for your combat maneuvers. So, pressure's on, guys. Which ones do you want? Which ones will you take? In any case, before you make your final decision, last but certainly not least, we have Trip Attack. Now this is perfect for a variety of reasons, and honestly I highly consider taking a look at it. This is one of my personal favorites. Um, without further ado, let's take a look at the description so we know what we're talking about. The description reads as followed. When you hit a creature with a weapon attack, you can expend one superiority die to attempt to knock the target down. You add the superiority die to the attack's damage roll, and if the target is large or smaller, it must make a strength saving throw. On a failed save, you knock the target prone. Needless to point out that that's incredibly useful, not just for damage potential, but also for um, um, kind of turning the flow of battle. That being said, let's take a look at the overview and break this down a little bit further. When you, it essentially reads as followed, sorry. When you hit, Expend a superiority die. Add the roll to your damage on a failed strength save. A larger or smaller creature is knocked prone. Pretty interesting and pretty simple in of itself. If you're unfamiliar with the prone condition, I'll kind of give you the Cole's notes. A creature is only or its, its only movement option is now to crawl. That that's true. Also, if it can fly, all it can do is crawl. If it's knocked prone, and that's it. And that's essentially double movement, or uh, half movement, sorry, my bad. Uh, the creature has disadvantage on attack rolls. An attack roll against the creature has advantage if the attacker is within 5 feet. So it's really good for melee attackers, and odds are, you know, this is, this is incredibly useful if you are one. It gets you advantage on the rest of your attacks. Um, the creature can also break the condition by standing up, which uh, takes half of its total movement as well. Really interesting stuff there. This is also super useful if you are an archer. Uh, notice it doesn't say that it has to be um, a melee weapon attack. It just says a, a weapon attack. So you could essentially be a fair distance away and on your final attack, you could use this and knock the target prone in when it's surrounded by your melee companions. Uh, hence giving them advantage on all of their immediate attacks afterwards. I think that's an incredible way to use this. It also really helps you escape from uh, situations where you're being chased down and you don't have the HP or maybe you're just a squishier character or maybe you have some form of encumbrance that is preventing you from moving very quickly. This is a great way to slow them down. That being said, if you have any uses for trip attack, if this is one you're going to take, if it's one you're not going to take, uh, please let me know why down beneath. I love chatting with you guys. Uh, this, in my opinion, is probably one of the top three best ones to take. In any case, thank you so much, guys. I really do appreciate all you're doing for me. Have a great day, and as always, happy adventuring.